They may be missing their flag, but I was so pleased to be back painting medieval miniatures and specifically Wars of the Roses miniatures, which is rapidly becoming my favourite period. The more I research it, the more fascinating I find it, as well as painting the models. But yes, this is the, um, having sort of completed the uh, Duke of Somerset's um, chunk of the army, although I may add cavalry to that, I've now started on the next division of the army, under the command of Henry Holland, the Duke of Exeter, continuing my West Country theme. But yes, these guys, brilliant to paint, Perry miniatures with a couple of Claymore castings snuck, sneaked in there to make up the numbers because I didn't quite have enough spare uh, plastic Perrys. Um, there is a link in the description of this video about how I paint 100 Years War um, English archers, but the process described in that video is pretty much the same as the way I've painted these in terms of the primer used, the pre-shading used, and then the approach taken with the main colours going on top. Yes, anyway, so feel free to take a look at that and I'll list the paints I used in the description are down below as well as um, perhaps uh, adding in a description of how I've done it as well. But yes, there we go, Household Bill and Bow troops for Henry Holland, the Duke of Exeter's uh, retinue, and there'll be more for this particular part of my army coming very soon. Hey folks, I know I mentioned in the first part of the video that you should look at my how to paint English 100 years of walls archers to get an idea of the method I used and the approach is pretty damn similar but um, I thought I'd just give a quick update here to say what colours I'd used etc. So as per that 100 years war um, archer video I've used a, a James Workshop Wraithbone undercoat primer followed by a pre-shade of dousing the whole model in Agrax air shade then in I've, ta I've used uh, Citadel uh, Gorgon to fur contrast for all the leather parts, belts, bags, shoes, etc. Um, skeleton Horde contrast for all the wood, like the bows and the um, shafts of the uh, of the bill hooks. Um, Gulliman flesh for the flesh tones, uh, lead belcher for the uh, metal, and then I've just used. Um, Blood Angels red contrast for the red parts of the models, leaving what is white in inverted commas as the bare wraith bone overcoated with the um, Agrax Earth shade uh, pre shade. So, um, that's just a quick guide. Maybe I'll do a how to paint video on these relatively shortly, but I just thought you'd be interested to know that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for those who've subscribed recently, and uh, there'll be more Gank Wars of the Roses videos soon.